there's a ghost around me. <laughs> Holy sh! that's scary. What the f is this? <laughs> My engines are running. Oh no, sh they're running. I don't know if I want to open up the door for you guys. Holy shit. Alright, so you... Why are you all looking at me? Oh my gosh, are they gonna get in? Oh man, they're boarding. Oh man. That's spooky as hell, actually. Okay, so this is the safety briefing. First things first. Don't go near that front blade like you already did. Second thing, I have absolutely no idea how to fly, so I'm sure this will go well for you. And engine can be turned down. Here you're making a bit of a ruckus. Don't make too much of a ruckus or I'll have to open this door. Alright, so I'm sure they're gonna rate me poorly, so I might as well just do what I want. I don't see anything. Oh. Alright. Let's pump this bridges of an airplane, this beast. Alright, 40 knots, 50 knots, 60, I'm going to start pulling back. You know, I probably shouldn't have done the gear up that, that quickly, but, you know, I got my buttons mapped wrong. Thousand two hundred feet to go. Okay, so these guys actually really do want to skydive at night. That's fine, you know, no judgment. I got the real world weather going on here in Salt Lake. It's a little bit windy and slightly stormy. So my plane is completely all over the place right now. We'll just ignore that. Seems like a good idea still. And I'll just go as high and fast as I possibly can. In the meantime, I do need to sort of see where they're going. Map. Alright, so... They need to go... They want... Man, this is such a bad idea. I wonder if I would actually get in trouble for doing such a thing. I probably would. Alright, so there are multiple things wrong with this situation. Probably most obvious is there are three people in this airplane right now that want to skydive during the nighttime out of a Cessna 177. Um, you know, we're gonna have to open up this door, which would probably fall off if we opened it. Second thing is it's uh very windy. As you can tell, it seems like wind is definitely a good idea to do when you're skydiving. Third thing is, I have no idea how these people are going to judge their altitude. Um, and I might be tried with murder because if these people die, it's probably my fault. But other than that, you know, this is, this is a good idea. So the good thing about this is, I don't think they will be around to rate me poorly. They get to rate me every time I drop people off. Alright, almost into my Farmington bubble. Uh, Roger, Abram, kilometer, uh, I'll have you on radar just a minute, 
like how it says deploy. Alright, any last words? No? Okay, see ya. I can't open up the door. He won't even let me open up the door. Deploy. Oh, you have to deploy each one of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Honestly, they were sort of bad because. I'm going really fast now. <laughs> I wonder if I can see <laughs> No. I can pitch way down now. That's funny. On route, huh? landing right now, I can already tell. I'm all lined up. 110 knots. Way too high. I also didn't call in the approach, which is nice. You know, it's like roulette. And... Let's see how this goes. This is real weather, so it's popping me all over the place. I do have my landing lights on though. Under min maneuvering speed, huh? Okay, well, you know what? That's because I wanted to deploy him in a cool way. I think I'm used to going so fast that I'm just gonna go too fast now. There we go. There's my two two. My little two red, two white. So good. Trim up a little. And bounce all over the place though. Make sure my landing gear has got a green. And I got a wheel. I don't know if the other wheels are down. Now I'm too low. Going well. And it is very windy. Like, really windy. Perfect day to do a skydive. I mean, perfect night to do a skydive. So, we're in the red, which means we're probably going to crash or land. Not sure which one yet. We're not going to crash. Sixty knots. Oh, it's like a feather. Aw, oh, look at that landing. Like I'm a pro. And let's slam on the brakes and jam it to the left. And that is how you do it. So, as a true pro, we will stand in the middle of the taxiway and look at our rating. Maybe I need, oh, I need to work it. For four lever only, I do. I'm just assessing the TPM up to the south of you. And, uh, you know, uh, 
There's a TVM <laughs> somewhere. I'm gonna park right here. Looks like a good spot. For deboarding, everyone's out of the airplane already. Drop everyone else skydive. That's funny. Skylar 3221, descent and maintain, fall level 300. All right, let's see what they rated me. Get out of 285. Oh, nice. Three and a half. Not bad. 787 contact Salt Center 124.35. Sure played. Take off the course. Happy with that. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna do all of that for $250. Oh, that wasn't bad. That's pretty good. It's like $250 an hour. Do it again. Thank you. 